Hi, this is Jonah with Sweet Honey Code, and today we're going to look at how to set up your Square store to start selling photos from your Square dashboard. You're going to go to the items menu. If you don't see the items menu under quick access, it will also be down below where it says items and orders. Either way, click on it to get ready. So first we're going to click on create an item. Perfect. Now for the item, you'll want to create a name. It's up to you if you want to categorize, but it would be good if you're definitely selling photos to kind of categorize because maybe you have some that are landscape or photog um, like people that you photograph, things like that. And you can also add a description to make better help the customers know what they're getting. So is this a digital print? Is it a physical print? Now, I'm going to assume that you're probably selling in person. In that case, you will make sure it says the physical print, maybe a bit about the print quality, uh, style, like is it gloss, is it semi-gloss, and so forth. Now to add your photo to this, you see this little gray box here. Well, it's technically different, two different ways, but we're going to click edit here. And we can upload or drag and drop an image right to this little rectangle here, or I can browse my image library. So I'm going to take a moment and do that. There we go. Now I have my sunset photo in here and I'm going to call this sunset 0001. So you come up with your name. And so the next thing you want to do is come on down. They have a photo studio app that can help you with your photos. This is more for if you're taking a physical product. So for example, maybe I'm selling a mug. I may, I want to take a photo of it, kind of pull out the background, things like that. It's a pretty neat tool. You could definitely take a look at it and see if it helps you for selling photography. Now down below, you can create options and variations. So for example, I could go in here and create an option set called photo size. And just click next. Oops. Uh, so for photo size, I can do five by seven, for example. Create new. Oops. Five by seven. And then click on create new. There we go. Now for the different option sets, I can set the price. So maybe for five by seven, it's a different. A different price set, for example. So if I click on that variation, which is right here, where it says five by seven, I click on that. I can actually come up with a specific skew. That way, it's easier for me to track as well. So maybe I'll do sunset five by seven as a skew, and then price per item. So in this case, fifteen dollars seems reasonable. And I can also add an image to this variation if need be. So this is really great for products where there might be a slight variation in how it looks between different sizes. So for now, that's not what I need. So I can do done. Perfect. So everything looks really good. Now I can also manage stock with this link right here that says manage stock. If I click it on manage stock, I can go through here and set up how much, how many photos do I have? That way I can kind of keep track. Is this a high seller? And so I can enable tracking, select a reason. Now it's assuming you're a bigger business. So it's going to use some language here that you just kind of interpret, make it for yourself. But for example, stock received, well, since you're the one printing it technically, now it starts, you have stock zero. So whatever number you put in here, for example, 10, You'll see it do the math of zero plus 10 equals 10 stock. And of course I can do low stock alerts that way. As soon as I'm run out and I have maybe a box full of photos, then I'll know it is definitely not in that photo box. So this is a two really neat tools to kind of help, you know, what you have at something like a market or on hand. So we're just going to do done. Now, if you're going to be, if you're going to be using the point of sale, you can actually enable the point of sale behavior here 
for example, skip the detail screen. So a lot of times when you work with a point of sale, it pulls up the item so you can see the details, especially if you have variations. But if in this scenario, I don't have any other variations, then I can say just skip it, add it to cart and move on. Now, one other option I can definitely do is if I have the online sales checkout enabled is I can then say this item is also available on the online sales channel. I'll be covering this a little bit more in another tutorial. So once I'm all done, I'm going to click save. And there we go. So now my photo is set for selling. Now, if I wanted to go further and categorize, I would want to go to categories. And here I would create the different categories that I may need to keep things organized. For example, if I click category and I do landscapes, I can save and assign items. And by doing so, I can go and pick that item and say, move to that category. So that saved me two steps in one click. So now I know that product is in that category. So for now, this concludes this tutorial on how to set up your photos to sell with Square. I hope this video helps. Be sure to hit like and comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.